Hello, welcome to class. My name is Umo and I am your instructor for this class. This is module two, level one, and our topic for this class is basic bodies. At the end of this class, students will be expected to be able to draft their basic bodies pattern, understand that manipulation, understand how to use that manipulation techniques to create new designs, understand how to move your darts around essentially around your basic bodies pattern you would also be expected to understand how to draft different types of front necklines as well as different types of back necklines so first off what is a basic bodies pattern a basic bodies pattern is the pattern for the top half of your body that is from your shoulder to your hip line it can be used to make blouses jackets coats and so on and so forth to draft your basic bodies pattern you would need a couple of measurements so first off you would need your bust circumference which is the around your bust um, fullest part of your bust you need your under bust circumference you need your waist circumference you need your hip circumference you need your shoulder width you would also need your shoulder to your nipple, your shoulder to your underbust, and your shoulder to your navel, as well as your bust span measurement. So first off, I apologize for how blurry this video seems. It's just going to last for a couple of minutes, so please bear with me. But here you can see me measuring my shoulder to my bust point. That's where I first measured. Then I measured my shoulder to my underbust. And then now you can see me measuring my shoulder to my navel is 18 and a half inches, guys. Pay close attention to this. So my shoulder to my navel is 18 and a half inches. However, for my half length, I'm going to be using, I'm going to be subtracting two inches from that. So you can see me measuring 16 and a half inches. And then my hip line is seven inches away from my navel. So which is 25 and a half inches. So the length of this basic body's pattern is 25 and a half inches, guys. I hope you got that right. So this is my natural waistline, which is two inches above my navel. Do you understand that? And then this is my underbust. So you can see me first off, impute all of your vertical measurements. That's what you can see me imputing here. So this is my bust point line. Do you understand that, guys? And then this last line I'm drawing is um, the hip line do you understand so next step is to so next step is to create my armhole box to do that i need my shoulder width shoulder width is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches so that's what you can see me marking that's my center front that you saw me indicating there and so i'm just going to create my shoulder slant so usually shoulder slant is between three quarter inches and one inch so here i used three quarter inches just bear with me this blurriness is going to last for just a short while so you can see me creating my shoulder slope or shoulder slant that's what you can see me creating right here so now next thing now is to create my armhole depth so your armhole depth is derived by your bust divided by six plus one or 0.5 inches so my bust is 36 inches divided by six plus 1.5 inches so all together that will give me 7.5 inches that's what you saw me calculating so after that shoulder slant measure 7.5 inches do you understand that guys measure 7.5 inches after the shoulder slant so this is the line that you can see me drawing out i apologize seriously for this blurriness i think that i just did adjust my camera well so okay now it's a new day now <laughs> the camera is brighter so apologies for that short um blurriness okay so next off you can see me mm, drafting out my neckline so basically for a basic neckline for a basic body just use three by three inches so three inches depth and three inches width so that's what you saw me marking out and then now you can see me creating my neckline box based on that three by three inches that i measured do you understand so usually that's like the um standard neckline for a crew neckline do 
Do you understand? Once you're trying to create a shirt or maybe a close fitting neckline, essentially it's three by three inches. So next I'll draw a diagonal line. The way that I've drawn that diagonal line and measure what you have. Me, I have four one quarter inches. So I'm going to divide that into three. So to divide that into three, you can see me folding my tape roll into three parts. Guys, this is so important. Please pay attention to everything. So what I have now is one three quarter inches. So I'm going to mark one three quarter inches along that diagonal line so i have three boxes do you understand so now i'm going to use my french curve to connect to connect it this way can you see that guys so i'm matching it to the last the last marking can you see that so use your French curve to create your curve that way. I have a video of this on YouTube. So if this is not clear, you can go on YouTube and watch my video on how to draft your basic bodice pattern. So now I'm imputing all of my circumference measurements. My bust was the 36 divided by four, that's nine inches. That's what you saw me marking with one inch seam allowance. So now this is my hip line. Notice that I skipped the under bust line. Do you understand? So this is my waistline, sorry. So along the waistline, I'm going to be marking my waist measurement, which is 28 inches divided by 4. That's 7 inches plus 1.5 inches for that and then 1 inch for um, seam allowance. Do you understand, guys? That, guys. So along the hip line now, this is what you can see me marking. My hip is 36 inches divided by 4. That's 9 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance making 10 inches so that's what you saw me marking along that line so again see what i did my nine inches plus one inch seam allowance guys very important so i skipped the under bust line and then on the waistline i measured my waist circumference divided by four plus 1.5 for that inches for that and then one inch for seam allowance so i hope that is clear guys so you can see me connecting all of my all three points. So can you see that, guys? I'm going to connect this back. So if you have any questions, first off, if you everyone is required to submit their basic block pattern. So to submit it, please share it on Instagram and tag at University of Pattern Drafting. So tag us on Instagram and then the next thing now is to draw my armhole, to draw that out, the arm size, sorry, to draw that out, measure what you have after the slant, which is seven and a half inches. Can you see that? So I folded my tape roll into two because you're supposed to find the midpoint of that. So that's about three, six over eight inches that they're about. So at that three, six over eight inches point, I'll go in by half an inch. Do you understand that guys so i've gone in by half an inch and then i'm going to use my french curve to connect all three points so i'm connecting my shoulder tip to that half inch can you see that half inch indentation and then i'm connecting it to my side side seam line can you see that guys so this is my front arm side essentially so now the next thing is to create my dart so my bust pan is eight inches eight inches divided by two is four inches so along this bust point line i'm going to mark the four inches can you see that guys that's the bust point line so you see me marking four inches so i'm going to do the same thing on the hip line and then i'll use a straight line to connect both points So, so I've connected both points and then now the next thing is now to come down by half an inch do you understand because you don't want a situation whereby your dart ends up directly on your bust point it always looks funny and then along your hip line to come up by half an inch do you understand along the same bust pan line then on your waistline this is the waistline mark out your the dart intake which is Three quarter inches on both sides remember that i said the dart in thick was 1.5 inches so divided by two that's the quarter of an inch do you understand so i'm using a diagonal line to 
creates my darts can you see that guys see i'm connecting it back to the 0 0.5 inches i'm not taking it directly up to the boss point line can you see that and then the same thing along that hip line part so i have created my dart so this is what it looks like and that's essentially what my dart looks like so now one of the things that i wanted to explain also is that um in taking your measurements note that your front shoulder to waist your front shoulder to waist is always longer than your back shoulder to waist okay first off let's um draft the pattern for the back so to draft the pattern for the back for a crew neckline usually the back would be the depth would be 0 0.75 inches so that's what you saw me marking 0 0.75 inches and i connected it back to that three inches um, neckline width and then for the back arm side you don't need any indentation do you understand so just draw it use your french curve to create your arm size so that is essentially what it is so back to what i was talking about your shoulder to your waist in front is longer than your shoulder to your waist at the back usually some people's own is as much as 2.5 inches so to um account for that disparity what you have to do is to create a side that do you understand so to create that side that in creating that side that first of note that you are creating that side that because you still want your side seam of the front and the back to align even though the back is shorter than the front do you understand that guys so i've gone ahead to create my back pattern so that's my back pattern you can see the neckline is higher and then this is my front pattern so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out i'm cutting this out please pay attention to what i was saying about the fact that the front um shoulder to waist is longer than the back shoulder to waist please pay huge attention to what i'm going to be doing next i've cut out the um neckline and then see what i have right now so next thing now is to create that side that that i spoke about so to create that side that i'm going to this is my bust point line so on this bust point line i'm going to come down by one inch so mine is just about one inch some people that is as much as 2.5 inches and you have to create um because you're drafting a pattern do you understand you want an accurate pattern so you have to account for that disparity if not your zip will be folding at the back do you understand is that your zip will be folding or they will just be folds at the back so you can see i've come down by one inch and then at that bust point you see i moved in by half an inch can you see that guys i'm not taking it directly to the bust point see it's half an inch away from the bust point so this is my side that that i've created to account for that disparity between the length of the front waist and the back waist do you understand that guys so this is what i am doing see i'm cutting out the dart can you see i cut to the arm to the bust point actually so i'm going to use a paper tip to hold this down do you understand so essentially i have reduced i've accounted for that difference do you understand i've accounted for that one inch difference so my shoulder to my waist for the front is 18 my shoulder to my waist for the back is 17 inches so this side that that i'm creating is to account for that difference do you understand that guys if you don't understand please drop a comment or oh, sorry leave a send me an email or send me a message a direct message on telegram so i would explain this further okay so this is what the side that looks like and then now to work on the back pattern remember that we cut both to be exactly the same so now that i've taken away that one inch can you see that now that the front is now shorter than the back can you see that so now both have to be the same length both have to be the same length and again remember that we use the front to cut the back however the back shoulder to waist at the back is shorter than shoulder to waist at the front so now we're going to have to deduct that one inch from the back pattern i hope this is clear in fact i believe this is clear because i've said so much about this so i hope you understand this so we're just going to create come up by one inch so come up by one inch and then roll the line so now you can see me ruling this out so i'm going to cut out this extra one inch do you understand that guys so we have 
created an accurate basic body pattern. So I would be expecting your assignment. Ensure that you send me the assignment either via email or you post it on Instagram and tag at University of Pattern Drafting in that post. So the next class would be on um, that manipulation techniques and I would love to see you there. Have a great day ahead, guys. Ciao.